help me like it's it's the cleaning it's the cleaning your room before you try to clean up the world like that's my whole thing with like the analogy so it's cleaning your room and then your room is a symbol for your life it's a symbol for you as an individual um and also kind of like your immediate family so i was sitting in my room and i was looking at the floors and i was like yeah like these are dusty like i should sweep this up right like if i see it i know it it's a daily chore you know like eventually you're gonna have to sweep the floor um i saw like there was like stuff in my carpet so i had to vacuum that up just sitting at my bed, I'm like, okay, I'm done. After I did that, and I'm looking at the walls, I'm like, hmm, when have I ever washed the walls? When have these walls ever been clean? And I was like, they get dusty too. I was like, that fan up there, that gets dusty too. That lamp over there, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, there's a lot of dust in here. And I was like, I, but here's the thing, Darian. The only reason why I swept my floors was because I, I, I started, I was sneezing. I was sneezing. I was, you know, showing allergy symptoms. You know, the pollen, the dust, whatever. So I'm like, okay, let me, I know what to do to fix this. Like, that's what I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna just slip the floor. And I, I even went to the extent of taking my carpet square and going outside and shaking it over the gate mm. to get dust out. I put everything down, I went back in my room, and I started sneezing again. Now, what I could have did was just like, you know, let everything settle since I was like, sweeping up stuff, you know, and everything's, you know, settling everywhere. I could have just left it alone, but, like, I sat there, I was like, there's something else missing. There's something that I'm not doing that's right in front of me that I walk into every day that I am not addressing. And I was like, these walls, this ceiling, during, I wiped the freaking ceiling. (gasps) I wiped the ceiling. I wiped the nook of the back of the door <laughs> and got it in a crevice. I was like, this is here? But then again, I knew it was there. But I just didn't think it was important. I didn't think it was significant. Or maybe I just didn't feel like it. And that's like, but even in that action of of, of saying, okay, these walls are dusty. Maybe I should do something about that. And then like the act of and it led me to doing other things and I was like oh there's a door here and there's like a base of the door I was like that collects dust and I and yeah I I wiped the rag it was nasty Filthy. it was nasty dirty <laughs> my raven, my raven voice, nasty. <laughs> and I'm like what else am I not seeing <laughs> under the freaking bed During, I took a rack. I wiped behind the bed. Dust behind there. I would look under the bed. I'm like, there's a book. I was like, oh, look at that. I didn't, I didn't know. And then, and then you find things that you didn't even know that you lost. You find things you didn't even know you lost. I'm like, I don't even need this. Like, I went without it for, for however long these walls went clean. I don't even need this, but then it's like a part of you, like you still want to hold on to it. So I kept it, put it in the laundry. We'll see. But certain things, like you still hold on to, but you lose things that you didn't even know you lost them until you go looking for it, or until you do something that leads you to go look to, to pop up and see it. And so I saw one there, Darren. I, the fan. This is the thing about it. The the fan, which is the heart of the central air in my room. Literally making dust. Like, I turn it on and start sneezing and wonder why I'm sneezing. They, oh, it's just allergies. Like, damn, 
You just turn on the you just turn on the problem. I look up the, I look at the fan and it's so much dust up in there. I'm like, dang. <laughs> dang. Like it was dust packed on the top of the fan. I'm like, okay. And then at least it goes, okay, what else am I missing? And I'm like, what's going on? And by the end of it, by the end of me literally just like, like doing more and, and not doing the, the simple, okay, sweep up, you know. The bare minimum. The bare minimum. Or the doing, expected minimum. What would really be considered the extreme. I literally just like, I, I stood on the be- edge of the bed trying to get to the other side of the ceiling. I was like, yeah, I ain't sneezing no more. <laughs> Like now, the dresser is not dusty. Like after a few days, cause not a lot of dust like lingering and falling off the walls onto the desk, into the furniture, and all that stuff. And by the end of it, Darian, with my bucket and, uh, and my my bucket, my water, my rag, and your spirit, <laughs> and my spirit, I got it done. And the and and you would you wouldn't believe how dark the water was after like cleaning everything and that was just from wiping from the walls so just imagine like when you relate that to your life you are you following this hello <laughs> if you hello gary <laughs> if you relate that to your life and clean and taking and, and going and say, okay, I, I know that I have look at your life now and look at the daily stuff that you do that's like the bare minimum, right? Like, but when you take the thing up a notch, it's like, okay, <laughs> okay, you about to have a bucket of nasty, dirty, steak booty water, but that's okay. Part because of you won't be sneezing anymore. You won't be, you know. And I hate the idea. And I really, and it, this even goes into last stuff. But like the idea of like quick fixes. Like we have this obsession in our culture of quick fixes and like instant gratification. Instant gratification, and that even goes with like social media. You post a picture that doesn't get over a hundred likes in five minutes, delete it. Excuse me. You didn't trust the process. Maybe people will sleep. You didn't give them a chance to see it. <laughs> Let them wake up. Close it at 2 a.m. <laughs> 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 oh, days of living in that room. I, and it probably wasn't 
wasn't even. You probably walked one wall. I probably walked <laughs> one wall with some lukewarm water and a piece of dish soap. <laughs> 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 lukewarm. <laughs> you have to have hot water. <laughs> and it was only, like, and it was probably only spot clean. I only went to the same spot, so I was like, ooh, well, because Lonnie told you to take the boogies off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me and my nine-year-old self. Oh my god! It is. Why the boogies on the wall? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I think even it's like if you can't even clean up your own room, your own walls, how do you expect to be able to clear up? 400 years! <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did you expect to clean up the body for 100 years struggle? I'm sweating. <laughs> Open up that deep freezer now. <laughs> Don't you open up that deep freezer. You're gonna find some 20 year old bicycles on <laughs> And why should it still be but, good because preservatives? <laughs> but if you can't go into the living room and, and okay, and it, it goes like, okay, if you can't go into the room, clean up what you're watching on the television, go into the kitchen, clean up your refrigerator, what are you eating, go to the backyard, who, who's riding his bike? Did you make your bed this morning? Did you make your bed? And you're trying to do room service. Sit. (laughs) That's why you go to hotels and it ain't change your sheets. And you find out and you got a piece of hair. That's because they probably ain't washing their own bed when they're at home. So they they just, the, the habits roll over. Your habits you do at home, they roll over into what you do in the real world. And you have a lot of people who just are not fit to be leaders because they can't. They have not addressed that. They haven't addressed their own walls, where they in their, their living quarters. So that's my analogy. And that's still only one aspect of it all. Mhm. Go to the bathroom. Like, who do you see? And who do you, and it's like, who do you see and who do other people see? Like, but where's your, because I feel like it goes like every room, every room, like, has a significance. Like, what are you trying to wash away when you go to the shower? Who do you Mm -hmm. see in the mirror when you're brushing your teeth? Like what I was doing and kind of like 
would and made me think about, which was the whole like addressing the internal to like addressing the input and then being able to evaluate the output, um, you know. So I had that footage that I still haven't, I still haven't um recorded, like made my script to re- do the voiceover, but I want to do that. Cause I feel like it's significant. Like we all, and I feel like it's significant in this time that we're in. Like everybody wants to make change, but it's like, hold up, hold your brakes, buddy. You ain't changing nothing if you ain't cleaning your room yet. <laughs> Change your clothes first. <laughs> Switch your sheets. <laughs> <laughs> your bed sheets. You know some people don't wash their legs in the shower. That's a horrible conversation. Did you wash your legs in the shower? I sure do. And my toes. 